Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Welcome! Finally, once again, I am uploading videos onto YouTube, and I'm quite happy about it. Anyways, in today's video, as the title may end up, you know, probably telling you, I want to be talking about Pokenomer mechs, and exactly why they are now some of my favorite ants after being some of the lowest on my board of ants that I like. As with some of you guys know, my ant-keeping burnout had begun about 40 days ago when I stopped uploading videos. Now, that little bit of burnout has officially ended, and as it turns out, um, I ended up not really keeping my ants very well. A lot of my personal colonies ended up dying. I say a lot, it was something like 8 or 9, which, which is a decent bit, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, it really kinda isn't. Uh, and a large amount of them are definitely struggling due to the fact that I am not, or I wasn't really taking care of them all that well. However, despite all of this, the Pogonomer mechs actually grew. What you are seeing here is a Pogonomer mechs colony, my main Pogonomer mechs Barbatus colony. Um, just getting their outworld, like maybe a week ago, they have like... 20 to 30 workers, and I fed them maybe twice across those 40 days. Like, the ant colony is doing so well, like, just amazing. Look at just how energetic these guys are, despite the fact that they were pretty neglected. Just look at this brood pile and that healthy queen. Like, this colony seemed to have near zero issues with me just starving them. <laughs> well, not starving them, but leaving them alone for literally, like, over a month pretty much i just gave them seeds and stuffed them away and they are still just doing amazing they have so much pupae and they have a decent amount of larvae and of course eggs it, it honestly nothing can get better than this colony <laughs> so yes pogonomer mechs a genus of which that i've had so much struggle with so much just annoyance with trying to keep so much so that uh i kind of gave up on trying to keep this genus until, of course, I went to Arizona and caught some queens, is now one of my favorite genuses uh, that are in my collection. Uh, yeah. So yeah, after years, literal years, the entire time I've been keeping ants, uh, trying to keep uh, Pogonomer mechs of any sorts, it has always been a struggle for me to keep them. But it turns out that all you need to do is just ignore them and give give them seeds and then just shove them away in a warm spot and they'll grow they are somehow easier than my fiddle Rhea, which i've also just been idling this entire time this kind of blows my brain away the fact that they were so easy to grow uh the fact that even my fiddle Rhea, despite the fact that they've their seed harvesters still haven't grown as fast as these guys have just idling on seeds is insane Here's another colony of mine, here's another Pogonomer X Barbados colony, and you can see the amount of workers they have. They haven't even been given an outworld yet, and they have this many workers, and I've just been throwing seeds in, and they've been growing great. I, I don't understand. This species is one of my favorites, especially. Pogonomer X Barbados and all of Pogos are just amazing, especially if you're a person who goes through a, a lot of um, burnout. This is the first time I've ever experienced it, but... Clearly, uh, they are champions of it. So yeah, anyways, now that I'm back from my ant keeping burnout, uh, I'm officially keeping all these colonies again, and to say the least, they are incredibly fun to watch. Now, although I haven't really been keeping up with these smaller colonies, uh, my main colony is so, so just amazing to watch, and they're so aggressive, as you saw in the footage in the past. Like, it it's insane. I absolutely love watching them just kind of go around and doing their stuff. I've been feeding them about two mealworms every week in order to try and get that brew to continue growing, and it seems to be doing them pretty well. Uh, same thing goes with my Pogonomer Mex Maricopa. Now, this is the only other uh, Pogonomer Mex species in my care right now, and they seem to have grown a little bit slower than that of the Barbados. However, their colors make up for that because they are absolutely gorgeous. Once I find an outworld for this colony, I will go ahead and give it to them. However, currently I am out of outworlds. Uh, I want to be, I'm going to end up buying some more probably here soon. That way that they can actually go out and forage and I can feed them protein more. However, right now they'll just stay on their chia and whatever other seeds I end up giving them type diet. And it seems to be doing them actually pretty well. Uh, as you can see, they have a pretty healthy brood pile, lots of larvae. 
Uh, their larvae are actually pretty mobile, which is pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy that this colony managed to stick through it as well, because this was one of the pogos that I was actually kind of excited to keep before uh, I realized how cool they were. Before my Arizona awakening when it comes to this species, or this genus rather, and before my burnout awakening, uh, I had originally thought that the, these guys were really boring, you know, they're kind of difficult to keep because of their want for high temperatures, and, you know, I, I really did not do them justice, because whenever I did keep them, I kind of just, like, kind of slightly tried to keep them, and the few times I did actually fully attempt to, it was with Pogonomermex occidentalis, which are a little bit more of a touchy species. However, upon keeping these guys, I've learned to properly appreciate them for what they are as an incredibly easy and fun ant to keep. Their behavior is incredibly awesome, and, I mean, they're so incredibly easy to grow, it's, it's kind of insane. I wasn't expecting it to be just, oh, just throw in seeds, shut the cotton, and then shove them into an incubator, and don't touch them for two weeks, and they'll do fine. <laughs> Of course, their care can be more complex than that if you want it to be, however, the, you can easily get away with it just being that for so long, if not their entire life from what it seems like with uh, Pogonomermex Barbados. I don't know what exactly is the point of this video, except for me to rant about how good Pogonomermex really are, because it is kind of something that uh, has shook me and has shocked me. Because I've always been someone who has kept, you know, as you may have seen on the channel, most of that I keep are the more fast-growing ant species that, you know, I really like, that or Campanatus. I've always just kind of skimmed over Pogos. However, uh, I guess that time has ended because I really do genuinely love this genus now. So yeah, basically, uh, in my humble opinion, if you guys are to want to get into ant keeping, if you haven't started ant keeping already, or if you're an experienced ant keeper and you haven't kept this genus before, uh, get them. <laughs> Simple as that. I always slept on them and I uh, wish I didn't because now that I actually own them and I'm really actually trying to take care of them slash not really, I have really enjoyed them uh, quite deeply. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I guess. Actually, before I end the video, I need to state this. Uh, Pogo genus rating, specifically... Barbados and Maricopa, I give Barbados a 9 out of 10, and I give the uh, Maricopa so far about an 8 out of 10. Those are my official rankings. Anyways, now we can end the video. Anyways, uh, thank you for listening to Ramble for nearly 8 minutes now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go check out Best of 2024, please. That's the other video uh, on my channel that I uploaded recently, you know, to mark my comeback. Took me about 9 hours to make that. Please go check it out. It would be a big help if you did. Uh, anyways, uh, besides for that, check out the links in the description, you know, the Discord server, the Instagram, the Patreon, whatever, you know, check out everything in the description, you know, just, just take a nice, you know, look through that, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video, goodbye.